na 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 hey 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 goodbye oh man i'm gonna have fun with this video um so if i just just to for all of you to get a better understanding of what teams i like and what teams i dislike Obviously, as of the 2020-2021 NBA season, it's so obvious that I absolutely despise the Brooklyn Nets. But just so that you guys know, just to put it out there, up until the season, I loved the Nets. And I loved everything about the Nets. An underdog team, their players were fun, they were funny, and like, you, you remember their bench. Their bench was legendary last year. And um, what else? Um... And I loved, I loved Karis LeVert. I love Spencer Dinwiddie. Yeah, of course, he's still on the team, but he's hurt. Um, but I loved Karis LeVert, and of course, the move was the best, was the best thing for him in terms of his health and all that. But what I hate about Nets fans and the Nets in general now is how dismissing they are. You guys have, based on the title of this video, two of the biggest snakes in the world, in the basketball world, in Kevin Durant and James Harden. Kevin Durant literally, come on, we can't just dismiss what he did, bro. That That's written down in history as one of the most gay, sissy moves in the history of the NBA. Literally losing to a team like two times in a row in the playoffs, one time 3-1, and literally going to join them. And now, what does he do? He goes and joins a team with three superstars who are arguably better than the other team at, on in Golden State, but they just weren't healthy, so we couldn't really see it to its fullest. And then you have James Harden, who is a freaking, all he does is look for fouls, and uh, couldn't do anything with Houston, because he's, that play style isn't going to win you a championship, and so he went and joined KD, the likes of KD and Kyrie on the Nets. It's just so stupid. I love the way the Nets were built, um, and now they're just, just so ugly. Um, but hey, all that, I know injuries killed them, but all that, Giannis bought a lawnmower, bro. He got rid of them snakes. Woo, I love it so much, man. Um, Middleton didn't do too well in game seven. He shot nine for 26. Uh, Drew Holiday shot five for 23, but at least Middleton showed up in the clutch, uh, hit some big shots, causing, uh, giving the books, the, the books that little win by four. Um, you saw if he did well, he they would have won by 20. That's just the way it went for, for them before that. Um, oh, and going back to the Nets, I wanted to keep talking. So, so this is what, like, more addressing the Nets fans specifically. Why do you guys dismiss, like, like, I know I went off on a tangent there. But why do you guys just dismiss what the way Harden and KD are? Like, KD being a snake and Harden, both, both of them being a snake, like, I'm, I was never a LeBron fan. I was the biggest Kobe fan in the world, and I hated LeBron when Kobe was in the NBA and all that. And then, of course, LeBron joined the Lakers. I can't hate him. I always, I've always respected his game. But when he came to the Lakers, I, I didn't turn game for him. Like, you guys turned for gay for KD and, and Harden, bro. Um, be that all the time. He wa wa we watch the, the Lakers games together because he loves watching LeBron. Um, and he hears me criticizing and bashing LeBron all the time throughout the game. If he doesn't make a basketball play or he does something that causes us to lose, I'm going to bash him for it. It's just the way I am. Um, so, like, why? <laughs> like, And he, literally, he even goes out and tells his friends. I'm sure some of you guys have heard this. He says Lakers fans, but he's really he's referring to me. Lakers fans are so ungrateful for having LeBron. I'm not being ungrateful. I think he's, I think he's definitely still a top three player in the NBA right now. And I love LeBron on the Lakers. You should have seen me when I heard that we were getting him three years ago. I was ecstatic, literally jumping up and down, left and right. I literally went to my mom. I was like, Mom, look, we got LeBron. I was so happy we got LeBron. But I'm not going to, like, Kate, like, I honestly think if KD or Harden came to the Lakers, I would change teams. I, that's how much I hate them. They're, they're just snakes to the utmost. I can't stand them. I, I told you guys in the first video, Harden, my go of sissy ball. The biggest sissy ball player in the NBA. Probably the NBA has ever seen. And that's why I hate him so much. That's why, like, so much credit, so much more credit is given to him. He He's, he's a snake in the way that he plays so much sissy ball. He's so relentless in playing sissy ball. He just has to do it. And it pisses me off. Even in the game, his his hamstring is whatever. Even though he's playing 52 minutes, you still see him doing that 
BS. Even KD is doing it too. That's why I still respect Kyrie so much. I love Kyrie. Kyrie plays basketball. He is so short, like relative, like the point guard is that short. And he's still, when he's not off, he's unstoppable. Literally no one in the NBA could stop him. And that's why I love him so much. He plays basketball. He doesn't go looking and hunting for fouls. That's why I think Kyrie is somehow underrated. People are saying Luka is Luka and Trey, like the likes of Trey Young, are maybe even better than than Kyrie. Then Kyrie's underrated, unbelievably. So I just have to say that. But oh my God, man, I am so glad the Nets are out. I would have loved. I, I will admit, I would have loved to see Clippers versus uh, the Nets in the finals if the Clippers get there. Uh, I wanted to see Kawhi guard and KD, the two best players in the world right now. I would have loved to see that, but. Hey, I'm I'm just glad they're out now, and they would have had the easiest uh, Eastern Conference Finals ever. But thank God they're out, man. Wow, snakes in the grass. Trying to slow the fast. Giannis just bought a lawnmower. Keeping it real. Peace.